Welcome to our uh, review series of the LEGO modulars. This time we are going to show you the seventh modular, which is the Town Hall. It's a really large building, it's the center of our town. And uh, when it was uh, released, it was also the, the largest building and the building with the most bricks that they, that they had. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see it here, it's really, really large. We're going to show you everything today. It has eight minifigures, so a lot of uh, new people adding to our town. And what we also wanted to mention is the number on the, um, facade. On the, on the facade, on the front, which is, what was it, 1891? Top of my head? <laughs> Did we guess right? <laughs> 1891, yes, 1891, which is the uh, birth year of the founder of LEGO. So at the time, this building had the most bricks. Uh, in the meantime, it has been uh, succeeded by Assembly Square and also the police station. But out of curiosity, I decided to weigh the buildings and this big boy is still the second heaviest after 70 square. But even though this one has more pieces, this one is the second heaviest. I thought that was kind of cute to know. Tell me, Ricardo, what do you think of the front? Uh, yeah, so for me, I think the nicest thing about the front and the building in general is that it's so massive. Like it's this really sort of massive facade and it is really the center of our town. Like it's it monumental. Really looks, yeah, it looks like really monumental. Um, it is relatively repetitive, the patterns on the front, but I think it fits this building really well. So I think it, yeah, it just makes it sort of really a town hall that is part of your, you know, the center of your town. Um, I also like that we have two of our minifigures already in the front. Beyond, uh, below the stairs and they were just getting married which is really cute um, so yeah that adds to the to the playability part as well what is a bit strange is we have this really nice entrance with these massive doors but the doors cannot actually open fully if you can see yeah it looks really fancy but the uh, the the door handles they get yeah. they knock against the columns exactly um i also like this tower that we have on the top um it has this really nice beautiful clock and also we have a bell but in contrast to what we have at the fire fire brigade this bell can't move and i think that mm. would have been nice well what i don't like is the fact that the clock isn't the same as all the other clocks in the other lego modelers <laughs> what also annoys me are these uh, these lines these uh, horizontal lines you see everywhere on the building. I mean, all the modelers have this, but the other buildings, they manage to hide it better. So whenever I look at this building, it's the first thing I see. But I have to admit, yes, even though it's a very conservative looking building, uh, it fits its role well because it's so big and kind of boring. It has a, has a sense of authority, which I like. This is the center part of our town. Fair enough, it can be like that. Let's turn it around. Yeah. Look at the back side. I think actually it's quite a nice back side. It has a lot of these windows. It's it's very plain, but I think that's a back side. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think for a back of the building, this one is really pretty. It has this sort of symmetry with all the windows. I think the lines that you don't like, I think they at least they're kind of consistent. They're not of these random, sometimes you have these random bricks of different colors that sort of stick out at the side or at the back of the modular and this one doesn't have it so i think they put a lot of attention to making it consistent and making it symmetrical and i really like that and i love all of the windows because it makes it really light yeah one thing that when you place it next to other modelers uh you most of the other buildings don't go far that back so you have these lines here uh in the other side too of course so i find that somewhat annoying uh, what I do like, of course, is the elevator. I mean, you can yes, uh, have, stick we out. Have this, we have this elevator, and if you open up the back, hatch here, you can you see can who's riding bring it. Bring it up. And you have to wiggle the wiggle it a little wiggle, bit. Wiggle, wiggle. As you can see, it's not it's not the best <laughs> elevator. Ever. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah, a little bit higher. Here. You can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, there yeah. you go. Yeah. Yes. There we go. <laughs> and here we have Rick, one of our little mini figures, who can come all the way up and down with the elevator to the roof where he can do his job. 
Yeah, plenty of dust on the roof. Looking on the inside, we have our mayor named uh, Hans Jürgen, or can you say that? Hans Jürgen. Yeah. <laughs> he's being photo photographed by uh, Cynthia, the journalist, and uh, well, I guess he's going to tell the people of our town uh, how to be behave. <laughs> uh, here we also have the elevator. There's a little door here. And, uh, let's go turn the building around to see. Well, we have some tiles in this building, not many, but nine of them. We have an office. And this office I find somewhat peculiar because there's actually a computer. I don't know if you can see it, but that doesn't really fit in the rest of the theme of the modelers. Most of the buildings are in the 30s and the 50s, and this looks like something from the 80s, right? So uh, I find that a bit weird. And uh, then we have this waiting room with a uh, statue of sorts. One thing yeah. that is really nice is that the auditorium is actually a little bit lower than the rest of the buildings and you have these stairs going down. And I thought that was something that was really cool in the building experience. So that you kind of first build, build everything a little bit higher for this part and then you go down into the auditorium which I think gives it this extra sort of nice atmosphere. On to the second floor and what's really cool is that this gaping hole actually lets you look all the way down to the auditorium. Let's look at the next floor too. Turning this floor around, we get another little office space. <laughs> and a cute rug. So here we have uh, what's your name again? Heike? Oh, Heike! It's Heike, right? Yeah, yeah it's Heike. <laughs> and this is supposed to be the mayor's office with the froggy. And there needs to be a frog in every modular. That's right. <laughs> Is there actually in everyone? I'm no, not sure. But there are everyone. frogs everywhere in this town. That's right. <laughs> and finally, the last floor where we have a meeting place and these funny chairs which don't have any uh, support for your back. So hopefully the meetings are not that long. I mean, this chair looks pretty cool. Let's get rid of Luke here. Oop, Luke, don't break the chair. So this one looks rather elegant. I like this globe here. If you look closely, it does actually represent the real world. But rather sparse floor, don't you agree? Yeah, the grove is nice and the plants, and the, there are like some plants, but it's, uh, it's a bit, uh, I mean, it's supposed to be the, the most impressive building in town, right? So yeah, could have done a little bit more. I think so too, chairs yeah. Chairs and things, yeah. No, a little bit too uh, serious. And but okay, the, let's try to... The elevator oh, is amazing. Can you see all the way down? Yeah, it's a bit dark, but you can dark, see it. Dark, yeah, yeah, okay. can you see there? Yeah, okay. Yes, the elevator. Let's show the elevator. Let's, uh, let's show... Uh, can we show it? Oh. Let's open the door already. So, there he is. <laughs> Hopefully, the camera zoomed well, because this building is so tall. We just wanted to show you the ceiling uh, windows here, which are made with, uh, yeah, what are they? They're doors for the garage. <laughs> and you, see you can open this. So this is the ceiling of the town hall where you have the best view of town. It's time for the verdict. Now, it's no surprise. I think you like this building a lot more than I do. <laughs> so, yeah, I think so. You are you're much me, more critical. <laughs> yeah, to me, to, okay, so even though I really like having this modeler in my collection because it's such an important part of the city. On its own, I don't like it that much. Uh, the outside, I'm only going to give two stars because I don't really like looking at it. It's very symmetrical. It's a bit boring. The only thing it really has going for it is that it's big, <laughs> which well counts for a lot. So that's more than one star. But I don't even. It's just not that pretty. Even the Market Street, I think, looks better when I look at it. it. Makes me feel happier. But what can I say? This one's big. It has an important role in the city. So I'm giving two stars. What about you? Yeah, I think I like it a bit better. I mean, I agree. It's definitely not the prettiest building, and it is a bit square and big and and sort of uh, uh, not so not. It, yeah, the elements are a little, a, little, a little bit repetitive. But I would give it three stars because I do think in itself it's sort of a coherent building. It looks nice. I like the colors. I think they paid a lot of attention to make it sort of fit or some so. So I think there there's there are no sort of weird details where you're like why did they do that? So I think three stars is is uh, okay. my fair rating. enough. Yeah. I used to feel like that way too. I used to also think this is a three star building. <laughs> but now that I keep getting new modelers <laughs> like this one and that one. Uh, now it's a two-star building to me. Okay, uh, what about the inside? Well, uh, it's even more—it's even blander. It, there are 
three office, four office spaces, if including the meeting room. This is a place where people work. But on the other hand, it's a place where also people celebrate stuff in the in the aula. But I, you know, I don't really think it looks that really interesting. It's a lot of white, a lot of gray. Uh, there's there's very little personality. So uh, the insides, uh, well, at least all the rooms are decorated. <laughs> so far, most of the models weren't didn't have furniture in some of the rooms. This one is fully decorated, at least. And uh, the le uh, the elevator is really cool. I like that. Uh, and it's, like I said, the back side I think is also rather bland. So I'm giving this two stars. Yeah, I, th I see what you mean, but I think I would again go for three stars because I think it it does it does have some nice nice details on the inside. Like I, for instance, I like this this stairs that you go down into this auditorium and that you can sort of watch through the window all the way down. So I think they really paid some attention to that. And also the elevator is really cool. Yeah. And I think that's yeah. that's nice. And I agree that some of the inside could have been a bit more detailed maybe, but everything is kind of there and I think it does it does look like a town hall. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I would imagine a town hall would be like. Maybe they could have added a bathroom. <laughs> but other than yeah. that we do like our bathrooms yeah. in the buildings. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now, there, there will never be a, a church, I think, in the model of the series because Lego doesn't like to do religious and political things. So this will always be the place for people to get married and do other uh, such rituals. So we'll just have to appreciate this building for doing its job. Moving on to the fun factor. Uh, again, two stars. Uh, like I said, you can have celebrations here. And the elevator is fun, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's really it's all going for. I don't, I don't. There, there are eight minifigures. That's kind of cool. On the other hand, I, I always think you know there are plenty of minifigures around the place. I don't need if, if this place had four minifigures, I would just use other minifigures for stories. But this is not a place that invites a storytelling, besides getting married or having something for the whole city to celebrate. Uh, but the office space is. Mm, no, no, it doesn't really uh, uh, tickle my fancy. You ever? Well, so on the one hand, yeah, there are maybe not that many stories, but I think th I think I like the fact that they do have these eight minifigures because there are other modulars that have way less minifigures, and we were complaining about that. So, so mm. I think this is actually really nice. And we have our couple, uh, uh, Corinne and Max here, getting <laughs> getting married, which I think is is really adorable. And then I also like the, the the journalist taking pictures, and you have you have a lot of people running around, so it feels like it's very it's very like a busy place. And mm. I love the two children, like one on the balcony and the other one with a, eating eating ice cream, you know, on a mayor's chair, yeah, which is kind of sneaky. Funny. I think yeah. it's kind of funny. <laughs> so I think there is you can make stories out of it, and in general, a town hall is probably not the the most exciting place, but there are mm. there are stuff going on, so I like that. And uh, I like our, our janitor in the, in the elevator sort of cleaning up all the different floors. Hmm. So I think with all that, I would give it three stars as well. Okay, okay. So I'm starting to sense a trend here, right? Yeah. Well, let's, I'm, let's I'm, finish I'm the pattern. I'm happy today. Because <laughs> guess what? When it comes to uh, uh, building experience, again, I'm giving two stars. I, uh, I used to think there's a three star kind of building, but every time I, you know, I had a good time with you building this, okay? So this is not. You, but when I think about this building, I, oh man, it, it's 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 a pretty boring build in my in my opinion. There's there are not many fancy things going on. The building techniques are not very uh, interesting. I mean, when I look at this building, you know, the corner, I'm thinking, oh yeah, this was so much more advanced. Just this was cute. This was dull. <laughs> Lots of. Uh, a lot of bricks put uh, making a lot of walls being made. This this thing is made of walls, and I don't I don't like making walls. Uh, I find that rather boring. So uh, and it, it, it's a long build, so it takes a long time before you finally get that sensation of ah, it's finished. So uh, on the other hand, you know it's it the, there's more going on in places like uh, the cafe corner. So I'm giving this two stars. Yeah, I'm, I think I have to say a doubt between two and three, but maybe I'm just gonna go with three to keep the pattern up. Yeah. The thing is, I you build much more buildings than I do did, right? Uh -huh. So this was one of the one of the I don't want to say few, but one of the buildings we, I built with you, and I really liked it. And I also don't mind building walls. I think I just still enjoy this very much. Okay, but you build and assembly square with me. Yeah, assembly square. But was we'll that, we'll get to that. Was that better um, than this? 
Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you yeah. think so? Okay, think for me so. that was a completely different experience. That was yeah, so no, much fun. It's definitely it was... better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. But how many stars are we giving? Them? Well, that's a secret for we later. Should, yeah, yeah, we should compare. <laughs> no, I know. I seventy, but that's. A, I mean, this is three out of five stars, right? So there's huh? still a lot, a lot to be gained. Yeah, fair enough. In a way. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, maybe I can give two and a half. <laughs> no, we, you can't. Do we do that? No, no, no. <laughs> so I think I don't know. I think it's a it's a nice building to build. Also, it's. I mean, you said it takes a long time, but that also means you get you get a lot for building it. You know, oh, you're not yeah. done quickly, and you, it's it's one of the largest buildings, which we mentioned already before. Yeah, you so really got you really got to, to know my music taste. Yeah, I know. This building, we got yeah. to know each other building this <laughs> because you can talk about other things because the building is easy. <laughs> you don't have to figure out like how how things have to get into each and like how you have to put things together. Um, okay. And as I said, I liked that we have this sort of lower floor. So you're kind of building, mm. and you're like, oh, I don't understand it. And after, after yeah. a while, I understood why we're doing this. And um, and the windows are cool. So there's some details. I think I'm going with three stars. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Well, this has been the most average modeler, according to our scoring, uh, with a two and a half average for everything. <laughs> yeah, thanks to us not <laughs> agreeing. <laughs> Good news, though, is that from now on, the model is going to get way better. Okay, so the next one is going to be the Palace Cinema, which is one of Ooh, my favorites. The cinema. All right, and then we get after that we get into the really good ones like the Parisian Restaurant and the Brick Bank. So uh, if you think my scores are really low, you'll soon find out why. Because uh, coming next time we're going to do Palace Cinema, and then even better ones, and then I'm going to start giving some fours and fives. Okay. <laughs> Will you be there with me? I will be there. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. I'm looking forward. I, there's so many cool things we can talk about. So <laughs> very All much right. looking yeah. forward, yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's make a, a city street. So this is our street with the seven modulars and the town hall in the middle. And I think it's the last time we will manage to put them on this table. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're protruding from, from both sides. Next time we'll have the Palace Cinema, which is a corner building. So we'll make a, a, a donut form with all the buildings. But now it's just one long street. And indeed, we wanted to have the town hall in the, mid, in the middle because of its size. Uh, we considered having the fire brigade here to its left, but we found that having these two towers next to each other uh, looked a bit awkward. So we uh, decided to flank the green growth with these two tall buildings. I'm not too happy with uh, this size difference, but other than that, this is really good. We even have some sunlight shining in <laughs> these infamous windows yeah. here. This one is always a bit of a problem because you, it's quite low and you want to have sun on both sides. But this will be solved eventually. Yeah, once we get more modelers. Just, yes. yeah, the more modelers you have, yeah. the more imperfections you can iron out. <laughs> yeah. So, this is great. We now have uh, seven. Moving on to the eighth one, Pal Cinema. Hope to see you then. Yeah, see you then. Bye. Bye.